You asked, now I'm doing it. Here's another edition of my proposal review series. As always, a link down below to where you can submit yours. We have here this cover letter from Ahmed and it reads, Dear Christine, I hope my message finds you well. To fulfill the responsibilities outlined in the job description, I propose the following approach. One, design and development, develop efficient web scraping scripts, web scraping scripts, say that three times fast, tailored to targeted websites, leveraging appropriate libraries and techniques, so that at cleaning, pre-processing and manipulation using Python libraries to prepare data for analysis. Three, scalability and efficiency, implement strategies to assure the robustness, efficiency and scalability of web scraping solutions, enabling handling of large volumes of data. For integration and collaboration, collaborate closely with teams to integrate scraped data into databases, applications, or APIs. For further analysis and operational use. Five, continuous improvements. Stay updated with advancements in web scraping technologies and methodologies, continuously enhancing processes and techniques. I'm a seasoned professional with extensive experience in developing and implementing data extraction techniques using Python. My expertise encompasses designing web scraping scripts, <laughs> performing data manipulation and analysis. I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute to your team and leverage my skills to, to drive <laughs> actionable insights. I can today uh, to drive actionable insights from web data. I'm available for further discussion to explore how my background, skills, and approach align with your requirements. Sincerely, Ahmed, I would like to propose a meeting to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of my contribution to the success of your project. Please let me know a convenient time for you to discuss this further. Okay, let's go through this. So, first things first, I love that you added the name. I wouldn't say that I hope my message finds you well because you have a limited space, limited characters. You want to use your first few characters in a smart way because that's what the clients see. So yeah, that I, I would delete. And actually, let me open up a text, a text thing here so we can reword this or rewrite this. So let's see, dear Christine, and let's leave out that I hope my message finds you well. And instead of that, we want to think of a hook. Um, I was just talking about this with a student of mine in a call earlier this morning, but we want to start with a hook. And that can be something that depends on the job, you know. Uh, usually I try to kind of say in my own words what I can do for them and kind of embellish it. Like for example, if they're looking for a social media manager, I can say, let's blow your social media out of the park or something crazy like that. Making sure you stand out and making sure the client pays attention to you. Seeking a skilled contractor with experience. Okay, I see here. We have the web scraping scripts. But we also have web scraping solutions. Now, again, I'm a noob at this. I don't know what I'm talking about. But if it makes sense, we could say something like, I have the web scraping, oops, not this, web scraping solution for you. Again, not sure if that makes sense technically, but it's a different way to start. Also, I always say this, but I encourage you to download Grammarly, all of you watching this, not sponsored, but the word, for example, fulfill, uh, it doesn't have the E at the end, and that would be something that Grammarly would quickly pick up on and you wouldn't make mistakes like those. English is not my first language either, so I really, really enjoy Grammarly because also grammars, I suck at it. So, yeah. That being said, let's talk about the, the meat of this cover letter. And the main thing you saw, I struggled reading it. And that's because it's really, it's not only really long, uh, let's not beat around the bush. It's boring, it doesn't tell me much. 
so I would rather have this be simplified, shorter, and more in common words. Because, I mean, in this case, to be honest, the client seems to be understanding the tech industry stuff. But, sometimes clients don't understand that. And if you throw all this jargon at them, yes, it may sound impressive and whatever. But they won't understand it. Keep it simple. Like, we don't need to overcomplicate things. That's what I usually see. It's either people that just throw shit at the wall and hope it sticks. Or people that try too hard. You don't need to try this hard. It doesn't need to be this long. And it doesn't need to be this elaborate kind of thing. Totally fine. I mean, my proposals are super casual. Yours may be a little bit more professional, but this is maybe a little bit too much. So let's say after reading your job post, I suggest, uh, I suggest the following approach. And then, let's see, because I don't know anything about this and I'm not gonna claim I do, I have a real cool AI thing, but you can use ChatGPT or whatever, or you could just do it yourself. Let's say, can you simplify and shorten the above text? Okay, not sure again if this is accurate in terms of technical thingies it is what we got and it's gotta be enough so what else after that let's copy and paste this and let's dumb it down you can say i'm a seasoned professional with extensive experience so i would make this simpler but okay this i would delete so you can already probably tell your expertise right here I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute to your team. I'm available for further discussion to explore how my background skills and approach align with your requirements. Here, right after this, I would add this part right here about the meeting. Let me know our availability for a meeting sometime this slash next week. You can see it, it is shorter, it is simpler. So this is not a bad proposal, but you want to keep in mind that the clients are looking through many different jobs. I don't know how many applications this one got, 20 to 50. So you see, they looked at many, many people. Uh, so yeah, keep in mind the client doesn't have much time. They're probably looking at a bunch of other proposals. So make sure you're stand out first and make sure it it's to the point tells them what they need to know nothing in less nothing more and yeah good luck best of luck to you and to everyone else that's watching and again a link to submit your proposal is down below and somewhere right here on the screen you'll be able to click to see the entire proposal review series i'll see you there